Okay, I just want to make a quick tutorial on how to cover with Doculan. Um, Doculan is a nice material to cover with. That's it's, it's extremely stiff, and you can uh, you can have it stick to your part at relatively low temperatures. However, if you wanna sh if you wanna shrink it. You need a high temperature to it. And another thing about Doculam, it has a very low shrink rate. So if you want to cover with Doculam and if you choose this option, I actually highly recommend it. This is a 3 mil Doculam and this is the only place where I'm going to put it. It's on a, this fixed part of the rudder because it takes most abuse and most stress in flight. So you really need it over there. Other than that, the rest of the plane, it really doesn't need a 3 mil uh, Doculam. What you want to do with Doculam when you use it, you want to kind of, you want to make sure that you have it nice and tight. So what I'm doing here, I'm just putting tape at the four corners and I'm actually putting quite a bit of pressure on it to make sure it's nice and tight. And uh, if you're really fanatic about it, you want to make sure you don't have problems. You may want to put another one in here. The midpoint. And iron. So as you can probably see, it's, it's nice and tight right now. So, the iron, I have it set pretty much close to maximum. And, uh, what I'm going to do right now, I'm just going to do the edge. Doculam is going to behave just like any other um, covering material that you use usually, monocoat, ultra coat whatever coat you choose to coat with. So see, this is not really hard work. Okay. And once you have the edges done, you can remove these guys. They did their job. really want to have it as tight as possible right now and right now with the hot iron what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna finish the leading edge the solid areas I'm gonna wait to do the other side before I uh, shrink it. So right now, all I'm worried about is the perimeter. And one more thing that you may wanna do, actually, you should do, you should roll over the edge. And this edge here, just pull it over like that. And you want to overlap it with the edge from the other side.
I cannot see very well so what I do I just keep candling it through the light to make sure I have it down okay. and now I'm gonna take a pair of scissors I'm just gonna cut it relatively short about one eighth inch oversize so I'm just gonna cut it about one eighth inch oversize I'm just gonna fold it over this side I can just trim it to size I don't need to fold it over Somewhere between 1 8 inch and 3 16 7 inch should be just fine. I have to be perfect. But one thing is for sure you definitely want to wrap this thing around and uh, fold it over. Because what's what's it gonna do is gonna go like this and it's gonna hold that carbon fiber spar right in position. It's like a uh, extra insurance to make sure it doesn't fall out I'm just gonna trim it all the way around like this And you may want to even partition it like this every half inch or so. Because doculam doesn't have a lot of shrink to it. So what I'm doing, I just work it out a little bit at a time. So I'm going like this back and forth and every, every time I'm just moving over a little bit and then I'm moving over a little bit more, a little bit more. And you can even work on sections a little bit at a time. And I bring it like 90 degrees. When you bring it over and you seal it down, you may, may want to put a little bit of pressure in it and just embed it into the balsa wood. Again, Doculam likes a lot of temperature. It doesn't like to run very at low temperature on iron. So don't feel shy, just max it out. Give it a lot of temperature. Trust me, I don't think you're gonna, gonna burn through it. I have a electronic uh, heat gun and 
I just bump it up like 10 degrees at a time and I had to get up to 500 degrees Fahrenheit before I started to melt this thing so don't be too worried about it I'll just have a little edge over here I'm just gonna fold it over All right, and this side is done. If you want to, you can just put it on the table. And if you run your fingers like that and you feel a big bump, you just push it in. Try not to burn your fingers like I just did. And as I said, doculum doesn't like to shrink a whole lot. So, can you see that? There's a little bit of a, uh, I'm not sure if you can pick it up from here. Maybe we can candle it somehow, find a good position. Hmm. Anyways. If you run your fingers over this sharper turn, doculum didn't shrink enough to go flat on it like you like you would with monocoat. So you're gonna see a bunch of you know creases in that direction. It's okay. Don't try to fight it too much because there's no sense in fighting it. Alright. And now Yeah, I should seal the center section. There you go. And now we're ready to do the other side. And, and actually the same thing applies. I'm just gonna get a piece of material. I'm gonna tape it again. I found another 15 minutes available to me today, so I decided to put them to good use and I'm going to cover the other side of this vertical stabilizer as, as usual when I cover with doculam I put tape and you know what I'm doing with it I'm just really really pulling on it I just want to I want to be real real tight and straight when you do that so just pull the tape just Pull on it a little bit, just lay it down. It's important to stretch it out as best as you can. I'm not sure if you can see that, but uh, it's pretty nice and tight. So, again, as like just like I did on the other side. Okay, so this tail is finished. I sealed it on both sides and uh, right now I'm just gonna shrink it down. Again, uh, this, this iron is it's pretty hot and it does take a lot of temperature to shrink this down. Uh, one thing you may run into is that because you have so much heat trapped into the pocket it wants to fill up like a balloon 
And to fix that, what you want to do is what you may want to do is just go here in the corner somewhere and put a little hole. By the way, this is the 20,000s wire from the kit. Just give it a look. Hole. And now the air will have a way to escape. Again, this iron is pretty hot. I cannot really see how much temperature I have in there, but it's almost maxed out. And a nice part about this is that When you are going out on a flying field, even in a hot day outside, this will still be pretty nice and tight. And you won't have to shrink it over and over again. That's it. You may see some foggy spots or something like that here and there, but uh, what you want to do is just take the iron and just uh, go back over it again. And here you go, this is the finished product. Nice and tight. And, and this, oh, this is very stiff. This is very stiff. It's perhaps as stiff as a composite uh, part. This side of the tail is gonna take a beating during the launch. It wants to bend in every single direction possible. Um, so it's gonna take impact for, from, uh, for, uh, from all the languages you're gonna have, I mean actually most of them, unless you catch it. Uh, it's gonna take impact if you catch it and if you, uh, if it slips up to your hand, it's gonna go like that. It's just gonna fall down on this corner, and you likely, it's very likely to be broken. Um, but uh, believe me, this uh, three mil uh, laminating film is gonna add a lot of strength to this component. When you when you do the 1.5 mil doculam, really nothing changes. Absolutely nothing changes. Just do it the same way, like you did a three. Basically, you repeat the same technique. Tape on it. Tape the other corner. And this one, you can really stretch it out a little bit. And you can even stretch it to the point like it's it's really nice and straight. Let's see if you can catch so you can get an idea. You see how straight it is? It's really stretched out. And again, I'm doing the same thing. I'm focusing on the perimeter first.
make sure I seal it. And I'm doing the center section, the tips. I'm just doing perimeter basically. And you can save your tape for the next one. The 1.5 it's a lot easier to work with. It's a little bit more flexible. It folds over the edges a little bit easier. So it's overall is just simply a better material to work with. And again, I'm applying the same technique. I'm just taking the exact knife and just go against the wood and drag it down. Same here. That's it. When you cover the rest of the components, same thing applies. It doesn't matter what you cover, you cover the wing or you cover this, nothing really changes. Same thing, over and over again. Tape it, seal the edge, fold it over, done deal. That's it. If you want a little bit of extra insurance, it's one thing I want to add in here. Take some thin CA and hit it here. And what this is gonna do, it will uh, it will harden, it will stiffen that area, and it's gonna lock in the edge of the document so it doesn't peel away in time. Um, because of the usage or whatever. So this is a cool tip. Also, over here, I left it open. I don't have any overlapping. So these are definitely good places to use the CA to lock things in. So that's another good tip. So obviously you can do it here. You can also do it inside here. And also that's going to create you a nice hard spot so you can sand it off a little bit if you have a little bit of interference. Uh, and the last thing that I have to do to this is put a hinge. So for the hinge, what I usually do, I just cut a strip of a, maybe a quarter inch to three eighths of an inch of, a, of the three mil doki lamb and I put it on and you can even uh, get the rudder to an angle or something like that and uh, you just want to make sure the edges are together 
and after you put the hinge on one side probably what you want to do is just fold it over like this and put a little patch in this area where your hinge is going to be when you where uh, and where the um, pull spring wire is going to be so um, what you don't want to have is when you have the hinge in here you don't want it to do like this go up and down I mean if you tug it like this up and down it should be nice and stiff the the hinge should be loose should give you plenty of movement but you don't want it to shift like this up and down on it 